On the outskirts of Eugene, Oregon, lives Endo, an Appaloosa gelding who has inspired the hearts of many after losing his sight to a widespread eye disorder. However, this hasn't stopped him going on to achieve great things. It makes me feel proud that he's inspired other people with their horses to do stuff with their horses, that their horses have potential, even though they're now disabled. When they think of a blind horse, they think he's just stuck in a stall, not moving in a safe little box. But he's, he wants to go out there and eat grass and run and play with his pony. His disorder got to a critical point at the age of eight, where he was taken to the Oregon State University, who diagnosed him with chronic reoccurring uveitis. There's multiple symptoms that happen with blinking of the eye, tearing of the eye. Sometimes you get that discoloration, the bluing, with its edema or swelling in the cornea. And he had two or three of those symptoms. And so it was given Appaloosa, given the signs, it's uveitis until proven otherwise. It was December 2010 that we really started aggressively treating it, and it was April of the next year when he had his first surgery. But the different options of trying to keep the uveitis under control weren't working. In fact, felt like the, the best thing to do for the horse um, was to surgically remove the eye. It has taken a lot of time and effort to rehabilitate Endo into the horse we see today. When he is down to one eye that was blind, he could still see light for up and dark for down. And then when the second eye was removed, he had no balance. And that's when we started doing the Liberty work Good over. to help him relearn his balance and to move without me on him. Over. Cancer. During Liberty work, Endo doesn't require a lunge line. Over. His actions stem from voice command alone. He loves to learn words. Right now, he knows about 50, 60 words. And in the beginning of his blindness, we had to start changing all his visual cues to voice cues. So the over voice cue is to yield his quarters. So if the circle's getting too big, over, uh -uh. oh, good, walk. And that turns him to keep him on the circle. Over, endo, endo, around. Around, good boy, come here, over, come here, uh -uh. come here, good, good, canter, over, canter, canter, good, bow, 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 good boy. The pair like to challenge themselves, learning new skills that they often showcase at events across the US. At events, it's really fun seeing people first see him because they always assume he has an eye on the other side. And then when they go see the other side of their face, they're going back and forth and they can't believe that he doesn't have any eyes. We do a lot of liberty work or show how he's able to do obstacles with me, like open the gate or go over poles, what he has to do to get around in his life. I want to inspire people to go out and play with a horse, not just riding around in a circle, but building that relationship. Because the horse is like being with you. Carrying out activities that a fully sighted horse has trouble with makes people realize that the loss of sight isn't the end of the road for an equine. Here's a horse that's totally blind. Um, and it's not just you think blind, it still has the eye there. No, there is no structure that the horse can see and yet can still perform and function and live a fruitful life.